All right, so for those of you that are students, you know that this is probably the worst era in human history to go to college. And the student debt thing is going to be a humongous, humongous issue for students in the future. But in this video, I want to share how, basically how and why, I managed to pay off what amounts to $34,000 my first year of medical school while in school. Whereas I would have had about $60,000 in debt for the first year, I ended up only having $25,000. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book Master of the Day. So when I came into medical school, basically there are a few key things to remember. Number one is that I already had a business, but I started with the intention that I was gonna work 20 hours the entire four years. Now I don't know a single other student who's really working more than 10 hours or five hours or any hours doing a four year doctorate, but I wanna share exactly the things that I did because number one, it is possible to work during college, whether you're doing undergrad, grad, medical, it's hard, but you can do it. If you want to build some kind of exceptional life, you're going to have to do something differently. So the very first thing is that I put on a piece of paper what I was actually trying to accomplish with my debt. So I actually put down on the paper that I would try to contribute of leftover earned or money I'd worked for towards my student debt. Now, initially the first year I took out all the debt required to live and to go to school, and then I would just pay back what was left over at the end of the month. For me, it was in my business, but basically, if you're working, effectively, all of that should be going to paying off the debt. And maybe you just take out this debt for school, or you take out the living expenses. So the second habit here is that people act like it's rocket science, but it's really just math, right? At the end of the day, it's just a spreadsheet. Money earned, money spent. And so you have to figure out where you're willing to sacrifice or where you're willing to push. Like I had a pretty nice, I was living in a three bedroom with two other friends in Connecticut and I was paying a thousand a month. I came here to live in a two bedroom, but I was just paying for the bedroom, which was like a 10 by eight room. And I paid 550 a month in rent. Like that is dirt cheap, even for Portland. And honestly, I did it because I wanted to sacrifice. I chose a rent that was half the price so that I could put $500 or 400 a month towards my student debt. Now, I have friends here who are living in baller $1,500 a month one bedrooms that they're paying for with their student debt, which is beyond stupid. That's taking the cushy life now for the hard life later. And so I think the big thing is if you're willing to scale back on some expenses, maybe that means selling your car so you don't have car insurance and gas, whatever it is, you figure out what you're willing to sacrifice. For me, I downsized my rent dramatically and lived in a lot less of a nice place. And the second thing is, earning money. Now, a lot of you in college probably are not even working during the year. You should be. You can. I know you're capable of it. And I'm sure that the majority of you, if you're watching, you're in medical school, you're like, hell no, that's not possible. Well, there are people who do it. In conventional med school, alternative med school, there are always people who do it. And there are plenty of parents with kids that they manage to make their way through. It's a sacrifice and it's hard, but you can do it. So here are three ways you can earn probably 5,000 to 15,000 extra dollars per year while going to school and you can contribute that towards your debt or your living expenses or whatever. So let's say for example, you're working in a coffee shop. There's probably tons of coffee shops where you are and even a base minimum wage here, $12 an hour. You could earn, let's say if you're working 20 hours a week, that's $11,520 a year. It's not bad at all. If you're tutoring for a ton of different subjects, you could charge $20 an hour, do that five times a week, and that right there is gonna be an extra 4,800 a year for just one hour a day. So I know you're thinking like, all right, yeah, you already had a business, which is true. And yeah, you could control your schedule, which is true. So basically, if you want the life that 1% of humanity has, you have to do something, like something different that only 1% of people are willing to do, and it's possible. Now the third habit here is not having what I call any loose time. So what that means is I shared this video on how I juggle medical school and life, but really in my schedule, Monday through Friday, and even on the weekends a lot of the time, there is no one and a half hour window where I'm not doing something. There is no one hour break at all, basically until the hour before bed. That means the break is either working, studying, going to the gym, cooking, in class, 
That's it. Like that's my whole life. I made the intention at the start of medical school, I'm going to be sacrificing an extra 20 hours a week for a better life after and it's going to suck a little bit more for four years. And if you want to do that, it means making sure your studying hours are more efficient and more effective. Because if you have six hours, rather than chilling for three of them, have two hours of studying, two hours of working, and two hours, that's the break or the gym or whatever. The point is that I had to systematically break down every piece of my schedule to make sure there was no time where I'm just sitting and lounging and playing video games. That really rarely occurs. So really at the high level, it's number one, coming with the mindset that you're ready to sacrifice. You're ready to do the work. It's not necessarily gonna be fun, but it's gonna definitely give you a better life after. Doing the math. Either means spending less or earning more. Ideally both. Find a way. And the third is, don't screw around. You've got tons of time, especially undergrad. What do you have, like 13 credits? I'm doing 30 medical credits. Like, you have time. If you were an undergrad, if you were in high school, there is time to work two hours per day. Go talk to an immigrant family. You'll see true hustle. There's always a way to find that, to work, to sacrifice, to whatever it is, so that you can have some kind of a better life. So I hope that helps. Obviously, it's not easy. It's a lot of work. Your friends may be hanging out, going for drinks, and you're going to have to work. But remind yourself, you're not doing this forever. You're just doing it for a few years, and it's something that's going to set you up for life. Versus graduating with $300,000 in debt, and yeah, your life was easy in college, maybe it's moderately easy after college, but now you can't get a house, you can't go on vacations, you can't do all this stuff, because you have this huge chunk of debt hanging over you. So, I hope that video helps. The best way to stay in touch is to grab my free personal development and weight loss challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. It is also the first link in the description there below. And you can check out my last two videos right here and right here.